Thanks for watching this video for dmanswers.com. Today I'll be talking about some manufacturing data that I was able to acquire. I've abstracted it so that you don't really know what process this represents, but essentially what we have here is some batches of some uh, materials that were being created. And we have some lot information for the materials that go into it, the users of some machines and machines that were used to create the result. The end result um, is assessed um, by using a quality score. And this quality score uh, is important to be above uh, essentially 98%. And so we would be concerned if, if there is some reason that we can attribute to why it's going below 98%. We'd like to know is one of these um, inputs, either the users or the machines or the lots of materials, affecting this overall quality score. One thing that is unfortunate about this particular process is that, um, is that the quality score can only be assessed at the very end. So uh, we would only know after the fact if there was a problem. But at least it would, I, we would want to know, though, if there is something that's happening so that we can prevent future problems from, from uh, occurring. So what we're going to do today is, is just uh, use um, in the data, miner works, uh, data mining tab, there's this feature selection tool. And I'm going to show you how you can use the feature selection to be able to predict which of these inputs might be affecting the quality score. And so this is kind of a, um, can end up being a quality control method uh, to find out what inputs are affecting the output. So we'll use the dependent um, variable as the quality score, and then the predictors are the categorical variables. The batch is just an ID, so I won't include that one, but I'll include all the other categorical factors. And then um, as far as, the, we can just leave all the other uh, um, things as the defaults, and then go, say OK. And then let's just display the top 10 best predictors, and I'm going to do that using um, this first uh, button here, summary best K predictors, which is going to do the best 10 um, because uh, that's what we've selected. So we'll go and do that. And so we see here that the user machine one, so the user of machine one is the most, um, seems to have the most impact on the score. It has the biggest F value and it is, the P value shows that that is significant. We can also look at this in terms of a uh, histogram. So I'll do that now. And you'll see that it is um, by far the, the biggest impact. It looks like maybe machine two has um, some impact too, potentially. Um, but what we could do now is that once we see that machine one seems to have the biggest impact, we can go and do uh, a means plot to see if we can see uh, a difference um, attributable to that particular um, user. So let's go do the dependent variable as the quality score. And then I will ch I will select the user machine one as the uh, as the input or excuse me the grouping variable. Okay, go ahead and say OK, and we see there is quite a big difference. And so if we are concerned that the quality score if it goes below 98 percent, there are three different users that at this particular time um, when this data is captured that have a low quality score. Um, I think one thing that I would caution is that um, there could be some confounding going on here. Maybe there's something that we haven't captured in the data that um, is confounded with these particular users. And so I think what would what this would warrant is to go and do an investigation and find out if we can dig a little bit deeper and find out if it really is the users that are they're doing something different. Or is there uh, something that the, was being, some type of material that was being used at that particular time that, um, was, that might be explainable why it's, it's low, um, but it wasn't necessarily captured in the data that we have currently. So I thank you again for watching and just know that this is something that I have used in my, my current workplace and this seems to be a very effective method to be able to um, find uh, or give people clues to where to look, the, what is the root cause of the changes that we're seeing in our output. 
So I'll talk to you again in, in two weeks.